Hello friends, welcome to you in my YouTube channel in Records and this is TK Workman and thank you for joining. Okay, so in this video I am going to discuss about this logical program. So what I what I want to print here. Actually this program is asked by my subscribers. He posted me this question. So the question is suppose if a string is like that logical entry program. Okay, any string will be there, any number of words. So my logic will be uh, same for all the program. You can uh, increase the value of uh, numbers of words. Okay, no problem. So now let's understand the problem. So here logical entry program. So what I want to print the output is first program after that interview after that logic. Actually, this is the most important program for the pressures. Okay. So now I am going to write the logic for this program. Okay, so I am going to uh, open my Visual Studio IDE. So first I want to need uh, some variable. So int count variable is required for me. So count is equal to i. After that, what I want to do here, I want to declare some string. So string I am in this string I am uh, uh, declare this string is nothing logical entry program. Okay. Logical interview program. Okay, so what after that? What I want to do here? I want to print this string. Okay, so uh, your entered string is here and here. So it will give you your uh, enter disk string. So I am going to run this program so that you can see your string here. Okay. So your enter string is logical entry program. So what I want to do here, I want to reverse the addition. Okay. So first of all, I need to prepare some uh, character as array. CHA care of array. Here, variable is here. So, what I want to do here, I want to convert string to array. So, this is the method available in our C programming language. So, what I want to do here, I want to do uh, first. I want to give the method. So, up here string after. Reverse. Okay. After reverse, your string will be like that. I want to print this message. Okay. For I want to declare uh, loop. So int i is equal to um, not length uh, ch dot length minus one to ch dot length minus one to fill uh, <coughs> i greater than equal to 0 and i minus minus okay i minus minus after that what i want to print here i want to check the condition if if ch of i ch of i is not equal to space okay if not equal to space then i want to uh, increase the value of count okay so why i am using count here because it will actually it will start from ch dot length minus one actually as you know that suppose here yeah, yeah, our string is length is 25 okay so string length is 25 but i want to start from minus one minus one is nothing but 24 okay minus one is nothing but 24 but why i am starting from 24 as you know that our Array start from always start from zero. That's why I am start from twenty four. Here the value of n is twenty four. Okay. So now let's understand. If not equal to space, this is space. That means here this is space. At the time it will increase the value of count. After that, what I want to do is I want to again check the condition if else else if if ch of i ch of i equal to equal to space okay so what i want to do here i want to write one more loop here 
inside this. So for int j is equal to i plus one, i plus one. I, why I am writing here i plus one? I will tell you. So first, count uh, greater than greater than zero and after that, what I want to do here? Count j plus two. Okay. So I will tell you why I am writing here i plus one. First, write uh, count the first. I want to write something here. I want to write CH of J. Okay, I want to print this. Okay, what one more thing is required for us is number. I want to decrease the value of count. Okay, so count minus one. So this count I can write here. This count I can write here. Okay, so that's no problem. Okay, you can write here also the same thing. So now I you need to understand why I'm writing here i plus one. Suppose here what uh, execution is start from here and the current position is 24 here, 23, 22, 20, uh, 20, 21, 20, and 18, say 19 and 18. But here the space the position is 17. So at the position of 17, I put position is 17. But I am not start from 17, I want to start from 18. That's why I am starting from i plus 1. Okay, guys. So actually, this is the condition. Condition is to what the condition? The problem is here in this loop. What is the problem? After it will print this. this Will print program. Okay, no problem. First P R O G R M. Here it will print. The problem here comes. It will also print this string. Okay, this word will also print. So the problem is here. It will also get here one space. But when it will come here, our loop, it will start from here. L A C I G O L. But it will not get any space after that. After that, it will not get any space. So how it will print this? Actually, for this logical, it will not check this condition. But this loop is printing this logical. But here, problem is here not is a space. If here is space, then condition is no problem. But here not is a space. So for that purpose, for that purpose, I want to write one more loop. Okay, here I want to write one more loop. So what I want to write here, one more loop so for uh, int of j is equal to zero. Int of j is equal to zero, and j less than equal to count. Um, okay, j less than equal to count, um, and j plus plus. So after that, what I want to do here, I want to write this message. Okay. This statement is nothing. C H of J. Okay, C H of J. So it will print this logical. After that, what I want to do here, mm, my program is actually completed. So now I am going to run this program, or you can see the output. First, save this program. Control plus S and save on run F. Now you can see here. Okay, logical entry from the mistake is program interview logical. Actually, there is no problem, but only one problem is space is not there. So for that purpose, I can write here one more statement. Okay, console dot write. Here is Now my program is here. It's complete. Program interview logical here yeah, logical. Okay, so, so this is my program. Okay, guys. So thank you for watching this video. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubt related to this topic, please let me know through comments. Okay, and you can post your question in my WhatsApp number. WhatsApp number is available in description box. Thank you, guys, and all the best.